Welcome to CCTV America. I'm Susan Roberts. We begin in the Middle East and a unanimous appeal from the UN Security Council for a ceasefire. First to correspondent Li Ling Tan at the UN. Li Ling. Yes, Susan, the Security Council has called for a de-escalation of the conflict as well as a resumption of a ceasefire and direct negotiations between both parties, the Israelis and the Palestinians. The statement from the Security Council was delivered by its president at, during this session where he also expressed concern over the escalating, the intensifying situation and the welfare of civilians. Security Council members called for de-escalation of the situation, restoration of calm, and reinstitution of November 2012 ceasefire. Now, this is the first official response from the Security Council and a long-awaited one. We've been expecting something like this for several days. But as you can see, it is, uh, it is regarded as a mild statement, one that is delicately and carefully worded, reflecting the, the testy situation on the ground. It is also a downgrade of a draft resolution that had been put forward by Arab states uh, late this week. Um, uh, led by Jordan, who represents Arab states at the Security Council. I understand that negotiations uh, were going on late Friday between the U.S. and these Arab states um, over that draft resolution, one in which the U.S. wanted to downgrade so it can avoid a veto. And that's the statement we're seeing this session now. The statement is not legally binding. However, it does reflect the unanimous opinion of the Security Council and international opinion. Susan? Leeling, how was the council divided over an official response? Well, the U.S., as a strong ally of Israel, has defended Israel's uh, airstrikes uh, uh, in response to rocket attacks fired from Gaza. However, other Security Council members have expressed concern and criticized Israel's attacks that have reportedly killed more than 100 Palestinians and injured uh, more than 1,000 while at the same time there have been no reports of fatalities on the Israeli side. So that was what I understand to be one of the main uh, divisive, divisive points uh, in these negotiations ahead of this uh, release of the statement. Susan? Li Ling Tang reporting live from the UN. Thank you for that. The 